Hello everybody, this is Mr. 13 Things. And we'll talk later about what the 13 things are, but we'll start with the fact that the tangent of 15 degrees is less than one, it is one, I'm sorry, it is two minus the square root of three. So that's one of 13 things. And we'll move on at this point and just to let you know that this is an original video showing doing a setup for a demonstration uh, at a for a job interview so uh, we'll talk a little bit wider on this one than uh, on the one for the job interview but that said what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and make a model and get it set up a 3d model set up with some views uh, in model space and I'm going to do that by kind of going to the model space and just immediately drafting a house so, and then turning it on its side so it makes sense basically in a 3D world. I'm gonna to go to the model here. And right away I'm gonna type units or I'm gonna avoid some of the uh, uh, use of the pull downs in this video, but I'm gonna use turn change it to units and change the units to architectural since I'm gonna be doing a building here. And I'm gonna kinda of now turn off some of these things here. And I'm gonna sketch this more or less like I would uh, if I was drafting in um, SketchUp as a as a <laughs> uh, as a, a general practice, I guess. I'm going to go from a rectangle. I'm going to go from zero comma zero comma zero. You notice that, and I now I'm going to tell it I'm going to go at 20 feet in the x, and I'm going to go up eight feet in the y, and I'm going to do zoom extents. And now I'm going to go ahead and put a pitch on the roof, and I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to X or explode. I've exploded that. I'm going to left click, left click, space bar, space bar, rotate. I'm going to make it 612, so I'm going to rotate the, change the rotation angle to 45 degrees. I'm going to now even think even more about the general specifics of this, of kind of doing an otter roof over here. So I'm gonna now do a line from the end point there to the end point there. And I'm gonna just rotate this one now 30 degrees the other way. So left click, left click, space bar, space bar, rotate, in this case, minus 30. And finally, I'm gonna go ahead and trim that out. So I'm hitting zoom extents. I'm avoiding at this point in time the buttons, fill it holding my shift key, clicking, click, click. And now I've got something basically that is a 3D shape. But unfortunately, if you look over here, it is lying on the ground. So I'm now I'm going to twist it up in a 3D world by using the uh, rotate 3D or 3D rotate as the case would be. First, I'm gonna put it together with a P edit, select it, yes, join, cross, grabbing everything, putting all of it together. If you notice here, my highlight glyph is not on correct and I should have something that's whole there. And now I'm gonna twist it and move it. So I'm gonna left click, left click over a specific place. Space bar, I'm gonna move it to absolutely zero comma zero comma zero. It's gonna put it so it's actually beginning at zero zero like I do it. I'm gonna do rotate 3D now, rotate 3D. I'm going to define the axis by two points, my end point there and my end point there. And I'm putting my thumb down the rotation axis and realizing I want to rot positively, rot rotate positively 90 degrees. And now I have something that's holding straight up. I'm going to now go V point, which is going to change the viewpoint of my eye to zero comma zero comma zero. And finally, I'm gonna do left click, left click over the glyph, space bar, move C for copy, and now at zero comma 40 feet comma zero, zoom extents, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and draft some lines in between with the snap shift right click from the end point there. And you notice now I am drafting, even though I drafted in 2D to draft my wall plates 
I'm sorry, my, my frames, I'm going to now go ahead and just connect up from the endpoint here. And what I'm doing is making a basic 3D model to later demonstrate the concept of paper space and model space. So again, I'm finishing these out from the endpoint there to the endpoint there. And realistically, I could also do left click, left click spacebar, C for copy to the endpoint over there. And now move it around perhaps by using the orbit tool and hitting escape and then left click, left click spacebar, 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 spacebar until I go back to move C for copy and then take it up to the endpoint there. I, now I have something that's in the model. It's in model space and unfortunately my layers are probably not correct so I drafted all that on layer. I'm going to finally get these on layer and I'm going to call them building edges. So I'm going to go to the layer command here, click on layer properties manager. Notice I had the object layer off. We're going to want to make sure we have everything on here and I'm going to now say make a new layer. I'm going to call it building edges. Now I'm making a lot of assumption here that you've learned the basics. Um, when you're dealing in paper space and model space, you probably have gone far enough along the way to realize that all of your design should be being done in model space. So that's the assumption I'm making here. I'm going to change that to be my current layer. I'm going to change its color to be something odd, if you would, for me. Change it there. I'm going to make it so it has a line weight. It has a continuous edge and I now I'm going to grab everything and differently now grab everything right click properties change the properties of everything to make them the layer being building edges okay so I now have essentially what is a 3d model sitting in space correctly that is z is coming and denoting a change in elevation and it having different sides what i'll do in the interim before using this for a demonstration of paper space and model space i will set up some view frames if you would mimicking what you see in programs like Photosynth or Photofly for photo planes. That's a lot of information. This, of course, is all set up. I will point you out now to the fact that I have recorded this with essentially um, the, a companion project to what is available in the free and open source software world, and that is something called Cam Studio. This has been um, recorded with Camtasia 5.0 uh, on an iMac uh, and using AutoCAD 2009 but these skills and the commands continue to be relevant through the most recent AutoCAD 2012. So I leave you here pointing out that we have now a model in model space and we can notice that is a model in model space by clicking something and hitting LI for list and seeing that the space is model space. If I go now to here and draft a line across what is essentially a different space and I list it LI that is in fact in paper space. So you don't always get visual clues and the reality of knowing whether something is in paper space or model space is a habit forming thing. You really don't want to be drafting in paper space when you think you're in model space or vice versa. So we'll leave that. We'll finally go ahead and do something we should have done before we started and immediately file save as and stick it someplace that we know and we're going to call this demo demonstration um, July 06 and we will learn to save things backwards if we're smart for other programs save and post it out
Thanks for listening. This is Mr. 13 Things.